Perseverance means you keep striving until you conquer. You only lose if you give up. My friends, before this year ends, I want you to spend a few minutes alone contemplating with a pen or pencil in hand and a piece of paper in front of you, and I want you to write down what your goal is for trading this next year, where you want to go. Do you want to get to real money trades? Are you willing to commit 10 to 15 minutes a day doing the work, being in the market, learning the nuances of the stocks, ETFs that you're interested in, go ahead and start thinking about those. Spend some time with us every day. Again, continue to hone your skills. Take the trainings that we put out every day. And again, you just, you just have to spend the time in the market. Everything we teach you here for free will work if you will just do the work. Now, if you want to up things, of course, we're happy to have you as a Patreon member. I have been debating. I may very well break down and teach the Accelerated Market Mastery course again this next year. I did not do it this year. I may do it next year. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. And uh, don't mean that in any kind of uh, bad way. I just mean that I want to have the energy to be able to do it and to make sure that it's worth uh, the money that folks pay for it. So again, but I'm telling you, if you'll just be with us each and every day, follow the methods. Take the trainings we put in your show notes every day. You go to chartingwealth.com, sign up for free. You can do this. This is not complicated. It's a binary decision, isn't it? Is the market going up or down? Is the stock or ETF you're interested in going up or down? And once you learn to trend follow, you learn the magic of the weekly vertical crossover, the two-day recrosses. You learn how to backtrack, how to make things work. You can do this. It just takes some time. That's all it takes. Great training for you today. Be wary, very wary of profits. Basically says, and when I say profits, that is like a biblical prophet. That is someone who, who has the magic answer. If you just do what they say, everything, what some simple little method, they're going to make you a million dollars. I will tell you that you can sure make all the money you ever dreamed of if you will put the time in. And you will be, it will be revealed to you as you go along, but you've got to put the time in. Nobody's going to give you some special little magic formula that is just going to do it. If that were possible, well, it wouldn't be possible in a dynamic marketplace that accounts for so many things as we move along. But what do you see? You see the nuances that you learn as you watch the flow of fear and greed, and you also in this dynamic market, as things change, as you're in the market every day learning the nuances, you see how things are modifying, and you're able. It's like the folks who've been with me for many years. You remember when we had the four-hour, the half-day gold. We found for about two years, you could trade back and forth on gold based on this half-day chart. It stopped in, I want to say it was in 2020. But for a couple of years, it was a single trading chart. It was amazing. And then, of course, it stopped. And when it stopped, we had to move on to other things. The beautiful thing is, though, on stocks that are trackable, you can learn ways to properly enter into weekly vertical crossovers, two-day recrosses that will work time and time again for you. And when they don't, you learn to cut your losses, get out, and wait for the next one, and have it work for you. But it is all about the nuances. You don't learn that unless you're in the market every day. Enough said. Let's jump into these charts and blow through this. Yesterday, everything was up. Guess what? Today, everything down. We look at the S&P 500 down 0.08%. We had a big up day, a big green up candle, trying to cross over going up still at this point. But look at that derivative oscillator, our leading indicator, still quite negative. In fact, very negative. Uh, so we'll watch, wait and see if indeed this manages to hold on this weekly vertical crossover that is trying to shape up. If it manages to hold on until Friday, because what? You never have any crossover until the candle finishes drawing. So we'll wait and see. What about the two-day? Well, it did cross over. 
It did cross over going up. Derivative oscillator still just a little bit negative. Do have a green up candle here. So we'll watch and see how this continues. Now, what could this do for you? Well, if the market starts to roll over, it could set you up for a two-day recross going down. So you could short the market. We'll wait. We'll see how this moves. What about the half day? Well, this is the, at the end of the day, was the first time in many, many days we've seen anything go red. This was a slowdown in the up movement. It's a green, it's a red open box candle. Now that just, that's not a red down candle. That is, a, with Heiken Ashi candlesticks, that's a slowdown in the up movement. Now let's move on to the NASDAQ 100. It was down 0.46% for the day. We look at the weekly candle. It's a green up candle. Price percent oscillator still negative. Derivative oscillator still gaining some downward momentum. Look at the two-day. <clears throat> Derivative oscillator losing downward momentum. Price percent oscillator heading up, not crossing over yet. Green up candle drawing, popping up right there on the Bollinger Band. We go to the half day. What do we see? We see it drop out of, unlike the S&P, where it's sitting there just, on, just above the half-day trend line on the NASDAQ 100. We see where it's blown through it, and we have a doji, meaning lots of indecision. It's red tending down. Price percent oscillator still positive, losing momentum. Derivative oscillator still positive, losing momentum. What about bonds, 20-year bonds. Where are we on the weekly? Well, trying to get close to crossing over, going down, going into, again, what the third week of red down candles after a big slowdown in the up movement back on the week ending the 10th of December. We'll see if indeed there's a crossover going down. Derivative oscillator still positive, losing momentum. Red down candle is drawing today. Of course, we have a two-day uh, crossover going down that happened last Wednesday, the 22nd of December. And again, that's just continuing along this last two-day candle, red spinning top. What about the half day? It's been negative for a while, up in the morning and then losing that in the afternoon. So we'll continue to keep our eye, <clears throat> mark in your show notes, that we might be having a weekly vertical crossover going down in bonds. We'll see. What about gold? Oh, and bonds, by the way, down 0.40%. Gold is down 0.46%. Now, we do see gold is still, of course, positive. We see that gold, we have a green. When I'm talking about that, I mean the price percent oscillator, derivative oscillator on the weekly chart, gaining downward momentum. The candle is a green up candle that's forming so far. Check out the two-day. Now, of course, we had that one-day, two-day candle uh, because Thursday markets were closed. Friday, the way the charts draw, nothing happened on Friday, but it closed out that candle. So this latest candle is Monday, Tuesday. This candle for Thursday is just Thursday. So, uh, again, we will, you can see we go back to Wednesday. That was Tuesday, Wednesday. This was just Thursday. So we do have things pulling away, heading up, but we did have a down day. Now we look at the half day. What do we see there? Again, we see this down day, things up in the morning, and then pulling through the half day in the afternoon, pushing through that trend line as far as the wick on the bottom on the two-day, but remaining above it. Price percent oscillator still positive, losing momentum for the first time in a while. So again, we'll keep our eye on gold and see if it's going to gin up and start moving, but a down day on gold. Now, Bitcoin. Slamming up 5-plus percent yesterday, down almost 5% percent today, down 4.79. And we have a little green up candle with a wick on top. Price percent oscillator still heading down. Derivative oscillator still heading down on the weekly two-day. Flat on the price percent oscillator. Derivative oscillator losing downward momentum. Second green candle. And again, we, we don't have a crossover on that two-day yet, so we'll see how things are going to go. But again, after the big up day on Monday, big down day on Tuesday, and this is where you see it. You see where things popped up and then rolled over. So we'll continue to watch Bitcoin. We don't have crossovers yet, so 
We'll wait, watch, and see. Overall, the weight in Bitcoin, still a lot of downward push. That is where we are, folks, as we end the day on Tuesday, go into Wednesday. So appreciate you being with us. God bless you all. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters. Get to work on your goals.